Welcome back to Top for Repairs. Today's topic, I'm going to tell you guys how to fix P2610 ECM PCM internal engine off timer performance. What is P2610? P2610, it got to do everything with the engine control module, also known as the computer. Inside the engine control module contains an ignition off timer and basically there's a timer built in the engine control module what happened is when you turn off your vehicle the computer is going to stay awake for a period of time and during that period of time it is going to run some self tests and it's going to test certain sensor so the engine control module is supposed to stay awake after the engine is off if the engine control module stay awake a little bit too long or it does not stay awake long enough, you are going to get that code. It is important for the ECM to know how long the engine has been off due to cycle. By knowing the amount of cycle, this can help improve transmission shift patterns, it can improve uh, ignition timing, it can improve fuel delivery, and it also works with the EVAS system and can help improve emission. When you start your engine at cold starts, the engine control module is going to compare the coolant temperature sensor reading to the ambient temperature sensor reading and together the engine control module is going to use this information to make sure your engine run efficient. When you're getting P2610, you're going to notice the check engine light is going to turn on, the check engine light may start to flash, and you might notice drivability issue. And also, when you're driving, this can cause the engine to stall out of nowhere. If you're lucky, this might just be a glitch. And when you turn off your vehicle and you turn it back on, the problem might magically just go away. How do you fix P2610? To fix P2610, always start at the battery. Make sure you have good power. So a good battery should have a reading of 12 0.6 volt. If you're not getting a reading of 12.6 volt, that can cause all sorts of issue. If battery voltage is low, make sure you properly charge your battery. What I like to use is I like to use a trickle charger or a battery charger and allow it to trickle charge for at least a few hours and maybe overnight. Next, make sure the battery terminal is not loose and also make sure it is not corroded. Next, make sure your coolant temperature sensor is not faulty. If you're getting colds for a bad coolant temperature sensor, consider replacing this part and check the connection and wire. Next, make sure you're getting power going to the engine control module. Check the ground circuit and check the power circuit. If that does not fix the issue, you might actually have a bad engine control module. I hope you found this video useful. As always, thank you for watching and subscribe to Top 5 Auto Repairs.